So press the auto key down here, set a, a keyframe, scroll it down a bit to 30, maybe 30, yep. And uh, rotate it. No, that's in five degrees, so take the angle snap off. We want it about one degree. It's about one degree there. Go one more frame. One more degree to the other side, about there. And then rotate it again, about one degree. And then rotate it again, about a bit more, slightly about just over one degree again. And then back again. So basically, we just want it to shake, just a little bit of shaking, so there's a bit of mo uh, movement on it, like that. Take the auto key off, check it out. No, so what can you see how it works? It's kind of it's not doing what we want it to do. So what we have to do is here is we have to set another auto key, which is going to be straight so we want it there like that and then you get that little shake otherwise the shake will start from zero which we don't want it to zero frame so that's all we want just like that that's all that's all we need that's all i want anyway for this so come in the intro will just come in and shake slightly like that not too much Maybe a, one more, press the auto key. Check where it's shake from and then go back one degree like that. But make sure the auto key's on or press set key. It's good. There you go. Um, that's fine. So that just shows you a bit of animation like that. Now what we can do is press control C. Uh, so this is a camera and we're going to change the perspective of the camera. So from here we have to go alt w look for the right where the camera is is here this is the top view select the camera press move and get it how we want it this time we want to make sure make sure you select the target first put the target on the target which is like there then you select the camera move it from here so yep so basically we would want it to come in like that and then shake but the target needs to be a bit to the center and the, and the camera needs to be a bit wider so it catches the whole thingy like that there you go so basically we're going to come from the side this time like that. So from here, set auto key, click the auto key, set key. And we want it to maybe come in where it shakes, which is about, about here. So here we're going to set this key. We're going to move the camera. Uh, sorry, Control Z, move the camera here, like that. That's how we want it. Right, so let's check that out, see if it worked from here. Obviously, uh, we have to press activate the viewport, the camera viewport, to see it work. Let's go back. There you go. That's good. Deselect auto key, alt W, so you can see it nice and large. 
There you go. That's cool. Like that. Um, and also, uh, let's put some lighting on here as well. So at the moment, we haven't done the lighting. So we're going to do the lighting now. So you go to create lights. Check a uh, standard light would be fine. Check the Omni, that's fine. Go to Alt W again, because we want to get um, the light in the top view, which is about there. Um, now go to the front view, press Z. Scroll down a bit to see where exactly it is. Uh, but we've actually added a another light. Let's remove that light and move this one here. So we have to right click to get out of this Omni. Otherwise, you're going to continue putting in lights. So now we've got this one. Let's move it about. Because what we can do is just have the light coming in like that. So from here, set key, auto key. With the light selected set that key move the light move the frame to about 10 frames and now move the light so the light and move it across like that let's see what that looks like right that's cool that's fine so we'll do that for that light that lights fine so now we're going to add another light at the front so deselect that auto key now we're going to put another light in the front so we go to front view we can actually select this light here press shift copy it just as a copy that's fine go to uh, this viewport here this active one, which is uh, should be the top. Let's press top. With T for top. Let's see if we can select that again. Yes, we got uh, Omni 2 light. Now move this light in front like that. But we're going to move that. That's how, we, that's how we're going to do it for the last frame. Or the same frame where it shows up at the front. This is where we want it to be. Um, as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit bright. So we're going to modify, go to modify Omni light. And we're going to just take down the intensity because that's a bit too bright about there would do. That's fine. So that's how we want it. Move the light back, press auto key again. But before you do that, move this to zero frame press auto key like that leave the light where it is move this until you get to here like that now grab this light the second light omni 2 and move this light forward like about there and then move it again And move the light a bit more forward and maybe a bit lower let's check for lower is better or higher maybe higher is a bit better right there and then move move it again we're just we're, we're just testing to see where the light is because we didn't we didn't check it in the first place where's the best place for the light it might affect it let's check Let's check. Um, highlight the camera one viewport. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's um, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so deselect auto key like that. Play it again. That's fine once more is okay I would like it to shine here and 
maybe add some shadows and stuff but for this purpose I think it's fine um, play it one more time yeah that's that's okay really and truly let's uh see if we can add a couple of more lights uh alt w let's see what another light looks like anyway create is in lights already omni let's put another light there see what happens right click check the move and um, put the light down here like that let's see what it looks like with that light there anyway highlight this oh, that lights a bit too bright there highlight the camera one try it again At the end, it doesn't really make a difference. It's a bit brighter. Anyway, let's um, let's save this. Make sure you save your projects because uh, we got a bit carried away there. But you should always save periodically. Uh, save um, desktop. I'm saving it on a desktop 3D Max. What's that? ADG, ADG, A. DG to save. Um, I think this is fine for this purpose here. Yeah, I think that's fine. That that would do. Well, I hope you've learned something in this tutorial. Just showing you how to animate a little logo to actually import a logo and actually animate it and add some um, lighting to it too. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and if you can rate, comment and subscribe, I appreciate that.